In 10 years at the Tampa Bay Times, Andrew Meacham has written more than a thousand obituaries. If you drill down far enough, uh, there's always a story, everybody's got one. And sometimes two people share the same story. It's not mathematically probable that couples should die together, but when it does happen, there's something beautiful about it. Recalling one such couple, Jimmy and Betty Wise, makes him choke up a bit even today. They were in the same room together at the end, uh, in the nursing home, the bed reels turned down so that they could hold hands. And he had said before he died that he wanted to go help Jesus get ready for her. And then uh, about four days later, she died. They shared their love, their lives, and ultimately their 2010 obituary. A retired railroad engineer and a homemaker married 63 years. Do you think this was love at first sight? Yes. I have some love letters. I hope and pray every night in my prayers that we shall have a long lifetime of happiness, growing old together with even deeper love. If you read this in a book, you wouldn't believe it. Wow. <laughs> wow. Their only child, Sandy Brooks, still marvels at the real life love story in the pages of her parents' photo album. They met in 1945. He was 23, she was 20. Soon they married. They were inseparable. They were playful. They had water gun fights. <laughs> and in the summer, they rolled back the carpet in the house and they put uh, phonograph records on and they danced. And they kept on dancing. Through 37 years of retirement on a Florida beach, they were in step right to the end. I think they both died as they lived. He made the decisions he went first. She followed. There's something universal, something timeless about wanting to go out together. You know, Romeo didn't go up to the tomb and say, well, this saddens me, <laughs> but I feel like, believe I can still have a useful and productive life. <laughs> that might have been the more reasonable thing to say, but he didn't do that. You may think that devoted spouses dying within days or even hours of each other is just the stuff of overwrought romance novels, but medical researchers will tell you, think again. Is it really possible to die from a broken heart? Yeah, so not only is it possible, but it, it happens. Um, we've seen it happen here. Dr. Elon Wittstein, a cardiologist at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine in Baltimore, published the definitive study on this in 2005 in the New England Journal of Medicine. We called it broken heart syndrome because what we saw was that people were coming in with sudden onset of heart muscle weakness and heart failure after being subjected to some kind of emotional trauma. And the first few people that we saw, it was usually death of a loved one. He estimates 10,000 Americans may experience it every year. What we think happens is that the body produces a large amount of the stress hormones, like adrenaline. And when produced in large amounts, it can actually be somewhat toxic to the heart. This whole heart was, was not squeezing very well. Believe it or not, you can see a broken heart on an ultrasound. The normal heart on the right is pumping fine. The one on the left is lagging behind. While it's not squeezing like this, you have very low blood pressure. You have congestive heart failure, uh, fluid in your lungs. So you could die from this problem, absolutely. The condition is treatable, usually patients recover, but sometimes not. There's no way to know if the Wises suffered broken heart syndrome, but Dr. Wittstein says he wouldn't be surprised. There are other less romantic reasons why spouses may die when they lose a spouse, but there's no question that we've seen the same type of thing where a person really just sort of loses the will to go on and passes quickly after that. We did an interview with a cardiologist who has described something called broken heart syndrome. Does that make sense to you? That would be it. It does. Why go on? This is how we're going to finish it. Although that's sad, it's also um, a reflection of the choice that they made to be with that person forever. That's very sweet. Till death do them part.